Yo, this guy is getting too close. Back off. Holy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Fly, fly, fly. I can't fly. I can't fly. I can't fly. Are you for real? Are you serious? Ah, right, we're back at it again. Back at it again with some some more hardcore survival. Some some more hardcore Minecraft survival, you know, some professional gameplay. Y'all ever start something and then you stop doing that thing and then, you know, you have to come back to that thing and then you don't know what to do with that thing? Do you understand me with that thing? Honestly, if you didn't understand anything, I, I ain't mad at you because I don't know what I just said. Anyways, we're back with hardcore and there, there's a lot of things we need to do on this world. First things first, I'm going down here because last time uh, I found a big ass cave down here yeah there we go and i'm gonna be stealing all the reels for a project that i will be doing i mean while i'm here uh, i can also steal all the strings from these cave spiders hey hey yo, what are you doing what are you doing bro this is so slow okay let's do the thing you know the tuck, 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 tuck. ah editing is such a beautiful thing it can make everything look very fast not that I've been mining these strings for like 5 minutes. Anyways, I'm happy with the amount of stuffs I got. Let's go back to the base. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this guy going to do? Uh, is he going to build a, 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 a flying spaceship? Is he going to build a, an entire dimension? No, no, no. Hear me out. I'm taking this easy. Before I can do anything, I need some basic materials. Iron, redstone, you know, the usual stuff. And I'm not going to mine those stuff. What I am going to do is I'm going to create farms that give me those stuff. And the first farm on the list is an iron farm. Iron farms come in every shape and form you want. You get very complex ones and you get very uh, very easy ones. I'm going to be building iron exos 4 iron farm. Iron exos 4 makes amazing farms and I'll be building all of his farms in this world. This farm takes about 5 minutes to build. The hardest thing about this farm is getting villagers. And we have a villager breeder, so that should not be a problem. Alright, so we got this big ass hole over here. And we have to create these chambers uh, in the four corners, as you can see. So each of these four rooms has three beds and a boat. Uh, the, in the three beds, we place three villagers. And inside of the boat, we place a zombie. I'm not a very technical Minecraft guy. But what I think happens is that, you, that the zombie scares the three villagers and those spawn in uh, iron golem i think uh, i mean something like that probably i mean to be honest the only thing i really know is that this farm provides so much iron and like you don't even have to do anything that big like when i say this farm is easy it's easy you don't even have to place one redstone piece it's insane go check out this channel iron x04 i i just realized is it ian or iron because i don't know uh, you get it? I I don't I I. Oh. All right, so the zombies should drop down here. Okay, wait. Mm, yes. Okay. Now we have to lock him inside, and he has to walk to the boat. Are you gonna come? Hey. No. Over here. You need to get inside here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. The first room is done. Well, no. We still need to put villagers inside here. Okay. And there's a second guy. Oh, this guy volunteered to get in. Okay, okay. There's a third one. There's always that last one that has to be annoying. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Okay, there's a fourth one. So before I add the villagers, I have to make the killing chamber or else uh, it's going to be a big problem. What if Mojang decides that uh, these signs actually can burn? I think like a lot of farms uh, would not work anymore. Okay, now it's time to put the villagers inside of their rooms. And uh, this was the reason why I went down there to get all the rails. Why can't y'all just get inside there? Okay, okay, the first room is done. I'm just gonna start hitting these guys, to be honest. Like, just get in there. Get in there, man. Get in there. Bro. Yo. Like, for real. Hey. Hey. Oof. I don't really need these guys anymore, so I'm gonna put them inside of the form, too. So the farm is actually already working. I still need to finish one of the four rooms. But uh, let me extend this uh, storage area. Okay, this is the last guy. Now we have all of the four rooms finished. Alright, let me give you guys a sort of update. All of the gameplay you just saw was from last night. Last night I also decided to start on a mob farm. 
it was also irons for uh, ID but I decided to not build it but I did get all of the materials a bunch of scaffolding and some redstone uh, but yeah I decided not to build it and I just went AFK and as you saw we have a bunch of villagers and now let's take a look at the iron we got oh yeah Ooh, I, I like this I like this how many chests let me grab all of this three chests okay so we got three chests of iron uh, that's good so as i just said i was going to create a mob farm but i'm not uh what i will be doing is create a wither skeleton farm now this wither skeleton farm not only provides you with a bunch of wither skulls but it also gives you uh, a lot of bones and a lot of coal teleportation no i didn't actually teleport but anyways i'm inside of the end for one reason i need more elytras my elytra is about to break and i don't really have mending yet so i'm gonna do a fast trip and loot some end cities just for the elytras that's number one number two number three that's number four four is enough we'll get mending anyways so for this farm we need uh, turtle eggs let's do some turtle egg breeding am i the only one that finds the breaking sound satisfying i also need a bunch of wood for this so now i'm gonna be trying to get a mending villager and a, a breaking villager all right mm, can we get back in there yes thank you okay so we got two villagers now i'm gonna zombie fight them so they get me three books and there's a second one let's kill the zombie why is this guy not interacting with the book oh no 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 please come here come here let me try to do this no this guy's where are you going where are you going i mean he chose for this life i like you were you were next to your friend peacefully but okay never mind oh finally mending let's get two books so i'm gonna put mending on my elytra nice i said i was going to get an unbreaking tree villager but yeah that's gonna take a while i'm not gonna do that right now what I will do is get a bunch of obsidian for my wither skeleton farm. Alright, we got more than enough. Let's go back. So we got everything besides nether brick. So let's mine that real quick. We should have enough nether bricks, but I have to get some fire potions because blazes are going to hit me. And there we go. Now we have to find a nether fortress that is inside of a soul sand valley or a warp forest all right oh okay let's check these coordinates warp forest warp forest i think we can we can build it in here let's see if i can find a sub chunk uh yeah we can we can we can build this over here So now we have to place these walls uh, everywhere and uh, leave a two block gap between them. Now we have to put these eggs on the four corners to uh, attract zombie pigments.
all right we're done here all we have to do now is take the coordinates all right we got to get on the nether roof uh so we can make the spawning platform i always get a heart attack when doing that to be honest the portal should be right underneath us now we have to go up now we have to make this place a little bigger now let's build the killing chamber This portal is going to be our way out of the nether roof. Okay, we are done over here. Okay, the main farm is done. Uh, what I want to do now is make a small storage system underneath it. Okay, so I'm gonna AFK here until I get enough skulls so I can uh, get myself a beacon. Okay, I afk for a couple of uh, minutes. I got myself 14 skulls. Uh, that's very good. I will cheat. I will kill the withers underneath the end portal just so I can get uh, the beacons very fast. I also got myself a good sword. There we go. And there we go. Oh, we also have to put mending on it. Do we have enough XP? Yes. Alright. There we go. And there we go. It's very easy. We have to get ourselves two Wither Stars. Now we should be able to craft two beacons. Let's go. Alright, the reason I got two beacons is to put them right next to the uh, Wither Skeleton farm. I want to afk there but uh, you can die of starvation but if you use regen from the beacon you can afk for hours and hours you won't die all right let's get these guys down let's put strength on here and regen on the next one we also have to mob proof this beacon. We don't want any mobs spawning on top of it. I'm also making this storage larger so we can get more items in them. Okay, we're now ready to AFK. I see you guys in a couple of hours. Alright, we're back. And as you can see, my diamond sword broke. When I was like two hours into the AFKing session, I came and I did a checkup. And my character did not pick any xp up uh, because of the wooden trap door it blocked all of the xp and that's the that was the reason why my diamond sword broke so we afk it for around two hours with looting tree and for the rest we basically just killed the skeletons with our hands now luckily this farm is insane and it really does not matter if you go afk without a uh, looting tree so when I say this farm is insane, just, just take a look at this. Just take a look at this farm. It's insane. I, I, I wonder how many uh, wither heads I got. I, I'm gonna say uh, two tree stacks. <laughs> My god, this is insane. This is insane. Bro, man, we almost got nine stacks. Almost nine stacks. As you can see, this farm provides you with a bunch of bones and a bunch of coal. I'm gonna put all of these inside shulker boxes. Okay, sure, this should be the last shulker box. Bro, we got so many bones and so many coal. We got uh, a full shulker box of coal blocks. 
and another uh, shulker box half filled with coal blocks and all the rest uh, are filled with bones like we have enough bones for days this portal right over here should take us to the nether and i'm also gonna take these coral fans because i will need them in future projects there is our beloved farm and now let's go back home I also need a bunch of soul sand so I can actually uh, spawn in the withers. Can you automatically spawn in withers and then automatically kill them? Like fully AFK? Because that's what I need right now. Alright, we made it back home. I'm gonna need all these shulker boxes so I'm gonna have to empty them out. I also need three more beacons so let me get, uh, get them real quick. I gotta craft a very good sword. We're going on a trip to our favorite end portal, it's down here, we have to go. We made it here, now we have to spawn them in and then we get our beacon. We got the first one, now we have to get the second one. Okay, never mind, this is, this, this is annoying. Okay, we got the third one, uh, now we have to get some obsidian. If there is any farm I need more than anything, uh, that is an obsidian farm. Because mining obsidian is so slow and it takes so long and I hate it. I'm gonna get a bunch of wood so that I don't have to come here every single time. Alright, we got plenty of wood as you can see. We're good for now. Alright, so the next farm that I will be building is a slime farm. Uh, slimes are really, really, really important when you want to build uh, big redstone projects. Now, I used a slime chunk finder to find a slime chunk on my world and right now we are going to dig a big hole to build the actual farm. Okay, so we got the main room done. Now I'm gonna be placing a beacon in the middle of the room to get myself haste to. About 15 minutes later and now we got the room carved out. Let's start on the actual farm. Slime farms are not hard, to be honest. Uh, all you have to do is carve out a big room, make some platforms and the slimes spawn in. So the next part is just very easy. I repaired my pickaxe and now I have to extend the room by 3 blocks and then it's basically almost done. We just have to make the storage system and place iron golems in it so the slimes get attracted to the uh, killing chamber. I gotta go all the way up to make an afk spot. Now only the iron golems are left. Oh no 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 no! Let's see, let's see away from this big guy. Okay okay, we're we're done. We only have to add a roof and then uh, we're done with the farm. Okay, we're actually done with the farm. I added a water elevator as you can see, and uh, now we're gonna do a long uh, AFK session. I think uh, about three four hours, and then I'll uh, I'll come back. All right, we're back. It's been like three four hours i think about three hours and uh yeah let's let's go take a look at the farm <laughs> oh let's go two full chest oh wait oh i okay i see what i did i see what i did let me let me fix this okay i fixed it and we got about four double chests of uh slime uh pieces let's turn these into blocks and let's head to our base Ah, uh, we got a problem. Alright, listen up. This this YouTube thing is kind of new for me. And sometimes I forget to record my gameplay. So I just lost about 35 minutes of gameplay. Uh, I didn't do anything that special as you can see. Uh, I've been gathering materials to build a special farm. We're going to be building a special farm by the man, the myth, the legend. Ian XO4 or Ian XO4. I, I still don't know how to say it. So we're going to be building a stacking weight farm. Let me try to explain this in my own words. This farm runs five raids at the same time. 
yes, at the same time, it's it's very complex, but it's actually easy to build, and it's it's game breaking. Let me just say it's game breaking. Now, if I tell you this farm is game breaking, I mean it. If you build this farm and it it can be built in less than thirty minutes, you don't need to build a gunpowder farm. You don't need to build a witch farm. And you'll get infinite amounts of emeralds. And I mean it, infinite. And I tried to make a time lapse for this form. Uh, enjoy it, it's very short. It's my first time. Uh, I hope you like it. Okay, I'm rewatching this right now and it's kind of a disaster. For some reason my character doesn't load all the time and it looks like I'm playing in creative. B but I promise it's not creative, it's just a replay mod that's uh, being weird. And yeah, the, the form is done. Let's go back to the video. Alright, we're back at the spawn, well not actually the spawn, but you know, near the spawn uh, where we found the raid tower. And now we have to get the guy with the flag. Yeah, okay, we got bad omen. Let's head back and try the farm out. I just realized I need beacons uh, at the farm. So let's head home and uh, get myself uh, beacons. No! I have villagers here! Oh, it started a raid. Are you serious, bro? Let me, let me, let me. Oh, where are the beacons at? I'm gonna grab the beacons and I'm gonna go away from here. I, I don't wanna deal with this raid. I'm just gonna do this right now, but I think if you stay away for long enough, the the rate actually ends. So if I AFK at this rate farm and then go back to my base, it normally should go away. I of course need to get myself some new bad omen, so let's get that real quick. Mister, can I take that away from you? Yes. Okay, so now we can uh, try the farm. Okay, so if we go up here. The farm should work, and now we have to activate our auto clicker. And every once one and a half seconds, uh, it will hit the thing. And it's not working. Luckily, I have some experience with this farm, and I was able to find the problem very fast. But now we have a bunch of vexes, so we have to get out of here to unload them. Alright, the Vex problem is fixed and now we have to get Bad Omen again. Uh, luckily there's a trick, you can place a boat right over here. And normally there should always be a guy with the flag there after you stop with the farm. And uh, yeah, now we can actually do the actual farm. And if we wait a little bit, we should be able to get XP and stuff right now. I'm waiting. Yes, there we go. So the farm works. So I AFK'd for like 5-6 minutes to get all the items I need uh, to be able to fill the, uh, the the item sorter. Why am I not being able to come up? Uh, yeah, so now let's unload the trunk and come back uh, to make the item sorter. Alright, let's go check out these chests up here. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, it's it's insane. This is like five minutes of AFK in. Let's set up these item sorters and let's do a proper AFK session.
So the item sorter is finished, all of the items are inside of it and uh, now we can actually do a proper AFK session. I'm gonna aim for about 5 hours and then we will see what we got. So I'll see you guys in about 5 hours. Alright, we are back. It's been a, it's been about four, no, it's been about five hours, uh, and yeah, let's let's take a look at the loot we got. Let's start here in the back. <laughs> so all of those blue things, my logos are totems of undying. These chests are full of emeralds. These are full of spider eyes. I don't even know why I did spider eyes, but take a look at this glass bottles. So many glass bottles. So many red. Look at the redstone. Look at the redstone. Like they're they're filled to the brim. Look, two rows of redstone, all the way filled, all the way. Look at this glowstone. Everything, everything is filled. Gunpowder. Everything is filled. Like literally everything. These three rows are filled with, uh, with uh, uh, emeralds. Full. This farm is insane. This farm is game breaking. Why is this farm allowed in Minecraft? Someone tell me why is this allowed in Minecraft? If you have a survival world, you just have to get one of these things. It's, an, it's, it's insane. It's amazing. It's the best farm in Minecraft. Really, it's the best farm in Minecraft. You can't change my mind. This is the best farm in Minecraft. Oh. What? The raids don't end when you stay away for a long time? Bro, I was about to finish the video, but now... Okay, so now we, we, we gonna have to, you know, finish the raid. Give me my golden carrots. So now now I have infinite... Now I can buy infinite amount of uh, golden carrots. Hey, let's go. Let's end this raid, because it's starting to get on my nerves. Yeah, first I'm gonna craft a very good bow, so that I can uh, kill all of the raid guys very easily. Yo, this guy is getting too close. Back off. Holy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Fly, fly, fly. I can't fly. I can't fly. I can't fly. Are you for real? Are you serious? All right. The raid is over. I almost died like three times. But no, let's not talk about that. The video is done. We have an infinite amount of emerald source right now. Infinite amount of emeralds equals infinite amount of diamonds, and that equals infinite amount of enchantments, and we can get everything which we want now. Now, we can start with the big builds. So, the next video will be crazy, I promise. Just hang around, stick around. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button down below, help me out, and I'll see you in the next one, I, I guess.